Hey everyone, this is Donish from jobskillshare.org. Today I am uh, going to be sharing some information with you guys and that might help some people that are in the same situation like me. So today I'm going to share something. Uh, I just uh, got promoted to a system admin job at my work. So my history is a little different than someone who would be, um, you know, getting promoted for to the system admin position for the first time because when I'm when I started uh, at you know at one of my different job I was a system admin and an IT support specialist uh, for this company it was a school uh, kind of like Institute so I was doing a lot of things uh, in, all in one kind of IT thing uh, but then when they ran out of the business in this company I worked a lot of uh, on the desktop side or specifically with users so I had gained a lot of experience you know working with the users because this company is really focused on user-based support so but then you know since I have um, experience with the uh, systems and uh, more of the system administration side then I got promoted again when I um, had an opportunity so this could be a, this video could be for people that are uh, you know working in a in a desktop side and they want to move up to a different uh, side now I'm, I'm not saying that you should or you shouldn't that's really up to you because it's two different um, kind of you know uh, support areas because you as a system admin mostly you are focused on system support rather than working with users directly um, you could be working with users and I call them power users like programmers and still again you will be working on a system but um, so let's say you are in the same situation where you are uh, a desktop support help desk support and you 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 want to move up to this system admin side now that's the scenario over here um, sometimes uh, I suggest you uh, basically uh, working with your own system administrators that are already in there um, you know try to see if you can learn from them if you have that um, you know availability from them and kind of like relationship uh, so build their relationship with them try to learn that stuff because then you know if you if you want to stay with the same company and you feel like there's an opportunity then there's nothing bad you know approaching your manager that you know you're willing to um, you know uh, you're looking for this new career and then uh, your education should be focused on more on the system side so take some server classes take some Cisco classes SQL server stuff like that SQL stuff um, VMware virtualization take this type of stuff you know that can help you now a lot of people might think that you need certification for this I mean I didn't have any certifications when I doing when I start doing these things um, it's like you know your relationship with people and then you have to show them you have to really really show them that you know you are willing to learn things because that's the most important part in IT is like people would hire people with nothing only they will find that this person is so eager to learn about IT and he is so eager to kind of work and love this stuff because another IT admin who loves this stuff too they will instantly know that you're the person that you're eager to find you find information and learn about technology so that person will automatically um, you know have a lot of chances to get picked or someone who will just bring with certification and degrees and say oh look I did this did this but the person shows no desire uh, like you know to kind of like show that look I I want to learn this stuff you know uh, so I'm not saying degrees and certifications are bad they are extremely important and I want tell you that you know I'm not gonna tell you that don't go for that you know you have to go for that even there are some things that I need to do myself like and even though I have so much experience I mean so many years of experience in IT but I still want to do things you know it's just like something that's good so I can I can tell people that look don't do this I'm just saying you should keep trying while you're learning for things if you're going for a bachelor's keep trying because you might get a system admin job or whatever job that you're looking for while you're trying for that you know you might get in and then have your company pay for your education that's kind of like the way people do it you know so and that's nothing bad about it look I want to learn things and you just tell the company straight up that hey I want to learn this and this is the education that I'm following so they will basically help you out because uh, a, a good leader a good manager 
will never stop you from learning. They will always give you more opportunity so you can learn, so you can perform better, and that's good for them too, you know? So, my suggestion to you guys, if you are in the situation where you want to move up to system admin side, I want you to keep um, your, if you are already know about the desktop side, I want you to start learning about the, the servers, Windows servers. These are one thing. So you're gonna take some server classes, and if you go to jobskillshare.org, we have a Windows System Administrator course from a different site, but we have made it so that it looks like a full course, and it's really good, really good, and big course. And then we have another course that's transition from help desk to system admin, which I'm kind of slacking a little bit about because I have so much things going on, so I had to get back to that course. That's a really good course also to start because there's a lot of good things about, you know, how to, that then transition time is the most confusing time for someone, so that you will learn a lot of information how to transition. So I'm going to put that link uh, below this video. If I don't put it right now, don't kill me, I'm going to put it there, okay? So that's one thing interview so let's say for example you do get hired uh, most of the most of the time people will ask you uh, let's say if it's the same company then you might not get too many technical questions they might ask you about your education how are you going to continue uh, you know your education they might ask you okay this is this is a little different uh, you know side of support how are you going to transition you know uh, can you tell us something that basically makes sense and then they will ask you that you know if what if someone is having an issue with systems not a user I'm not talking about desktop issue right here I'm talking about systems issue how would you approach that now that that could be you know a very good the answers could be like you know you're working with other vendors for the system to get so of course you're gonna do your own troubleshooting but sometimes in this field it's more about you have systems they have contracts and they have support so they would want you to kind of like you know uh, talk to the support guys over there because they've been doing this and they get paid for this so kind of like that you might get questions same way so my suggestion for you to if you are moving to this direction then take the uh, virtualization which is VMware SQL stuff because a lot of sites run you know that databases you know databases uh, if you have a site you have a database if you have members you have a databases they work on it and your job is most of the time kind of sometimes restoring or looking at the the SQL servers where the database is running looking at it's uh, it's basically resources and working on that and mainly you're working with whatever site this company is running and whatever web server you're running and that that web server is running on some type of hardware server like Linux Windows servers IS and you are working on these things almost every day so that's kind of you know system admin and I, I've explained details about what system admin do in our help desk to system administrator transition course so make sure you go to jobskillshare.org and start taking these courses but I just wanted to share this information with you guys maybe you're in my situation and this video might help you uh, maybe you might have total different experience maybe you just came say you know what I have, was in the same company and they asked me to do certifications and uh, finish the degree then they gave me the job so like I said it's up to the company and uh, but at the same time uh, my suggestion to you is that you keep doing your best you keep hard working you know if you do your hard work I'm telling you it's gonna you know you're gonna get the benefit out of it um, so that was my video for today. I know a little late, but uh, I think it should help someone. So thank you, and I'll see you guys in a different video.